Yeah, we shouldn't let shit decks like that win. Aggro Shaman is such a shitty build compared to... It, it, like, it got nerfed, right? Aggro Shaman was like, okay build, but like the cards got nerfed. The Rock Rider got nerfed. And a lot of people are running Harrison these days. So there's no reason that it kind of deck should succeed ever, ever in this meta. So it feels really bad to lose that. I should actually probably tech in a Harrison too. Like if Azure Drake was a Harrison there. Barely nerfed? No, the nerf to Rockbiter is pretty huge. It used, it used to be those tempo gains where they could just one mana clear a minion, minion on board without overload. Like nowadays, it's Lightning Bolt has overload, so Lightning Bolt essentially is two mana, deal three damage. But I think. Uh, after this game, I'll take out the I'll take out one Azure Drake for Harrison. We can't let shit like that go unpunished. Whoa, that's kind of an overreaction to Acolyte, I think. We have enough combo pieces. I have uh, Valen, Flash Shield, and Mind Blast. So then I can do I can do coin out Emperor. Emperor. Although I should get rid of this guy. We have Alex in hand, and we do the uh, Valen double Mind Blast. Seems good. Point out to Alex Straza, and then this is also this is also eight mana. Feels good. So we're looking for a turn eight lethal against Druid. Or he's already pretty close to dying. He's gonna be at twenty two health. And we still get Alex on board anyways. Hey bot, how are you doing? Are we having a good weekend? <clears throat> Did he change his mind about... Like, he could just hero powered, right? Oh, he's going to play minion. Okay. So he has to deal with the 8-8 and heal. If it's only... If he only has Moonglade... He's still at 20. And we have 20 damage. Every single day. Thanks, bot. Pretty fun and interactive, just like Druid. That's what Druid wants to do to you, too. Malagos and drop a bunch of spells. Moonglade into Archer Commander, boom. Oh, you know what's happened to me though? I've had somebody Moonglade into both Ram Shield, and that's, that actually saved the Druid from lethal. That felt really bad. He got outplayed the entire game, and he got lucky on the Moonglade. Stupid Harrison. Now I wish it was a Drake.
Oh, we played Temple Mages earlier, didn't we? I guess it's good against Draxus, if it's uh, Draxus version. So far, it's still hard to tell what version it is based on what he played. Not having any one drop is a little bit suspicious, so. Always feels bad by winning by outplaying them and then they get lucky. Yep. Okay, so Shatoon. <clears throat> hey Zaraya, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Acolyte. I guess I'd do it here. If I had got a cleric, that would have been huge. Drop cleric, pyro, smite, and like uh, circle. Even though it doesn't really clear the board, it draws us a lot of cards. So he trades in here. Whoa, he doesn't want to trade in? Why? I guess he's trying to play around Excavate Evil with this play. But he gives us extra cards. I don't I don't know if that's worth it to just play around Excavate Evil. Um, now I can clear this with uh, Pyro. Pyro Smite and Powered Shield. I'm giving up combo pieces that I could be cycling together with Acolyte and Cleric. But if I went with playing Harrison, Harrison would just give him his, his board value. Like we could clear his board without sacrificing anything. Yeah, Priest deck, yay! But to get a Priest will be a good way to troll all the Dragon Priests when when the expansion comes out. Yeah. Those priests are gonna be pretty slow, so. Very sure this is Reno version. So Alex is probably not gonna do that much here. Um, let's go with Harrison. If he goes into Draxus, he's gonna be his max health is gonna be low enough for us to just OTK him, right? So I don't think we need to be afraid of Draxus. And I have some card draw here: Acolyte, Cleric, Circle, uh, Pyro. So there's ways to draw cards. He's a warlock. He's gonna attack himself to lethal range. Don't need all the combo pieces. Yeah, but. You just need you just need card draw though. Like here, do we use flash shield to start the combo, or do we use mind blast? If I use mind blast, it pretty much gives away what my deck is. Um, do I overdraw though? If I also drop the acolyte. I think it's probably better just to do the flash shield. <clears throat> so a double mind blast. Draw one more card through here. Cycle the loot. Seems fine. We can play Alex uh, next turn. Really just looking for Emperor. Probably don't even need Alex, honestly. Emperor is going to be good enough. His Shatoon is not activated, so it's not like Brand does that much. 
usually you want to do brand twin emperor vector or brand um Shatoon, but that's not gonna happen yet okay We're looking for excavated i guess we trade in here first Or smite. Then I can do Drake into smite. Embrace. I guess I can cycle the powered shield. Um, this one. Yeah, I don't want to overdraw. So, because I, if I overdraw the emperor, that really sucks. Excavated clears his board. I can trade these guys in, do Blood Mage excavated. It, the downside is it activates his um, his Shatoon now. But it's, it's still only a 10 10, right? How oh, can I? I'm afraid of overdrawing if I drop the Acolyte. So I think we just. I think we just take it slow. The only way we lose is if we overdraw the Emperor. Alright. Okay. Knight Circle. Wait, we have 15 already. 15. We have 19 damage. Use a circle. It looks weird, I guess. Let's say I use a circle here and then drop the acolyte. That guarantees there's no way I overdraw the emperor, right? Like I draw three cards. I have I have enough space in my hand to take three cards. Hey Scythe, good to see you. Scythe. Okay, so he's above the 19 damage that we could do. Is that enough now? I can do a Mind Blast, Mind Blast, Flash Heal, Cure Power. This costs 6, so we have exact mana, right? Apparently we don't even need uh, everything else in our hand, just that's enough. Okay. Same is good. Hey, practice. Nice to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> 